On today's episode of Identity, honoring us with her presence in our coffee shop this morning is TV producer and mentor Simamge Lezakavu. Then we pray, love and eat at the Sunday Love Feast in Lanesia. We check out this week's app called Wait Plan and review the book Racer Rats and Rubbish Bins by inspiring author Kulegani Makubane. And playing us out is Sugar Smacks with Watinda Tina. An individual with an imagination My inner faith illuminates innovations In a space with infinite inspiration I was born free from all incarceration Incredible, living infallibly Intelligent, outshine with my inner being This is me, impeccable as ever been I am you, you are me This is my identity Good morning and welcome to another epic episode of Identity right here on your favorite channel, SABC One. My name is Mbumi Mbete. Some people keep God in a Sunday morning box and say, hey, I did my religious duty. That's fine, but the scripture says to pray without ceasing. And I think that means all through the day you're talking to God, even if it's in your thoughts. And those wise words are from Jewel Austin. Sitabele mbili nge lhelo luetfu, sikale nge nge kukutela nga lo msigati lo timisele nge kukutula timbilo tebanfu. Lala pansi unetetege stokusane nisbagashi sedu. Mamgele Zagavu is a human rights TV producer and she has managed some significant achievements for someone her age. She was chosen as one of 28 of Africa's most outstanding emerging women leaders by the Muremi Initiative My Lead Fellowship and was selected as a One Young World Coordinating Ambassador for South Africa. Upinze asebende impagatini ngutinigela msebendini lefaga ekazi mashelo lafana nabo Dream Girls International Outreach and Mentoring Program. Identity. Thank you for having me. Ni kulu mega kulu ni tinvolo so tendi le. Ge palo go shangu se ukale nlanga no ya kwa ustele ga banding ay. Okay, like eh uh, when ukale i organisation try saka ingom soletu, which means we are building our tomorrow in Isikosa. Saka ingom soletu has four pillars. One is rural and township youth development work that I've already been doing mm -hmm. um, to get for young people to gain access to to opportunities to further st um, their studies uh, and to inspire them to dream and to ignite a passion for academic excellence. Another pillar is a human rights um, television production company um, where we want to put young voices, young people's voices, in mainstream broadcasting. Mm -hmm. um, the third element is. Um, uh, intergenerational dialogues that we want to host as well as writing workshops so that young people can understand that they have a voice within themselves and they could use it as a political tool. And the last um, uh, element of Saka Ingo Soletu is a skills training program for young people who are 22 years old, 21 years old, who are working as gardeners and cleaners uh, so that we can upscale them to, so that they know that's not where their life ends. I'm looking at you talking about young people and I'm thinking, you're a young person yourself. <laughs> so where did it all start? So, and Dikulele, um, in a township called Isbelen, uh, Ekoman, in Queenstown, in Eastern Cape, um, I went to township schools all my life. Um, and so, you know, being surrounded by those material conditions, you realize that, you know, there's poverty, there's inequality, there's unemployment, mm -hmm. um, and other social factors uh, that lead to that, such as crime um, and drug abuse. So, it's, it's my social consciousness started from understanding you know, my background and my surroundings mm -hmm. and wanting to contribute to that. So in high school, I joined things such as the Rotary Interact Club, mm -hmm. where they told us um, that um, it's service above self and that's how you should lead your, li lead your life. And I joined um, the Junior City Council where I became a mayor um, in my matric, um, grade 11 and matric year. Mm -hmm. So that's how it started, through volunteering um, uh, from a young age, I've been able to, to be where I am now. Volunteerism is often associated with a spiritual um, foundation. Are you a religious person? I am. I don't know if I, I, I would call myself religious, but I'm very spiritual. And I understand that it, there's a bigger being, you know, uh, running and controlling our lives and our destinies. Mm -hmm. But I believe that um, we're all here 
to, to serve a particular purpose and uh, it's not by us alone, through our power alone. Um, and my prayer is, uh, is to be of service and to serve you know, the work of God and for God to use me to not only change my own life, but uh, the lives of other people. Sikula, si bantu la wamnyami ga kulga tigtse wa munvu munvu nge bantu. Exactly. So, tinvo letfana na logo, mtlambe na to, ti ya isala inge nye mbilwe ni yako, njongba utufuna uba of service. Definitely, definitely. I, I love your definition of culture. Um, because, you know, culture um, sometimes is, is, is also associated with tradition and traditional mm -hmm. practices. Uh, but I think also culture evolves and I think people should be at the center of culture and serving people should be at the center of culture so my culture is Ubuntu basically. Just hearing you say that makes me realize why you you managed to accomplish Loglo Pumelele Nyalo but in your face I want to go see Yin Logu Nyem Tambelo Fisa Guguenda Gule 21 years of democracy. Um, Zinenzi Nenfunuzenzi uh, but indo eokala influenza is to ignite e passion kwabantu abamnyama and kwabantu abashala kwilali nase nase na downships e self belief mm -hmm. uh, because indo enzo ay apartheid and the colonialism and the slavery was to make abantu abamnyama feel that they can't be whatever they want to be uh, they couldn't have certain careers, they couldn't study at certain places, you know, so it limited their dreams. So mna, in the, the, the central theme in all the work that I do is to make abandu bayas bana, you can be whatever you want to be, a condo bambile. Go introduction ya ming in city we human rights TV producer. As kun me career ya kugu television industry go to kalegu putalin chani and in zabufuna ba specifically human rights TV producer. Okay, so ndafunda game naika e e politics ni international relations as kolo in the pinandenza e honors degree with politics evits. Um so in the TV, yang and doing dying dying plan. Uh, but then they turned on, they, they turned the TV because in a power, uh, in South Africa now, um, I think it's that is it's it about around 37 million South Africans, but was Babugeli TV. Mm -hmm. So in in a, in a power, your influencer, your inspiring band, your 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 educator band, your uncle and so the ninja, for instance, now that inspiring TV, mm -hmm. you know. Kaungenazo it direct role models in your life. Kaunga boni CEOs directly in your life, or women that have you know that that run multinationals or politicians directly in your life. You need you need a certain kind of mentorship that comes through reading books, that comes through the radio, that comes through television. And TV was that tool to inspire me. And it was a tool to educate me about what's going on in the world. So Nam Difuna Uyenza TV uh, to use it as a tool, tool for social justice. Challenges to, to beat racism, sexism, um, and uh, is, is to be excellent. And, and, and having an, an, um, an I can do it attitude will help me. If you could be a teacher of something, what would you teach? Ooh, that's a good question. I would teach history. If you were to be on a reality TV show, which one would you be on and why? I would be on The Amazing Race because I love to travel. If you knew you could not fail, what would you do? I would do your job. <laughs> <laughs> if you would win the lottery, what's the first thing you would do? I would buy my mom a house or build her a house. And if you would be a shoe, what shoe would you be and why? Stilettos. <laughs> Stilettos. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. This woman has done more than many people twice her age. And it's people like Simamgele who know that the way forward isn't always going to be simple. Singalinzela gunye ndigunangzate. Nyetemba guti nawe ukutatile guti unjinje imbilo yako. Let's take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we bring you an insert where we love, pray, and eat. Entry, stay tuned.
This is my identity. This is my identity. Welcome back. You are still watching Identity. My name is Mbumi Mbete. If you've just tuned in, you missed the first part of the show where we were joined by mentor and TV producer Simamgele Takavu. But you're in time for today's regional story, which is aptly titled The Sunday Love Feast. This is an integrated celebration of Lord Krishna's pastimes, chanting, sharing spiritual knowledge, dancing, eating, fellowship, and generally sharing the bliss of God's presence. It is where anyone can come, regardless of beliefs, into an experience of love. After closing prayers at the temple, a delicious Indian-style vegetarian feast is served. Let's take a look at the celebration. This is my identity. ISKCON is the International Society for Krishna Consciousness. Uh, and the founder, Acharya, the founder of ISKCON is His Divine Grace AC Bhaktivedanta Swami Shri Prabhupada. So the main objective of the movement and the Sunday Love Feast program is to teach um, people about their true identity, that being uh, the eternal spirit soul. And because we are the eternal spirit soul, we have an eternal relationship with God. And by knowing our relationship with Him, we develop love for Him and we develop love for one another. Historically, the kind of Vaishnavism or Hare Krishna has uh, been is very ancient kind of religion. So it's been in India for many thousands of years. Uh, but it was brought to the West in the, in the 60s by Swami Prabhupada. And uh, that is when it took its current kind of form as the International Society for Krishna Consciousness. And that's when he kind of presented it in a way which is suitable for Western audience. The Sunday Love Feast is a, it's an amazing program that Srila Prabhupada, our spiritual master, actually started. And he titled this the Sunday Love Feast. And everything around it is centered around love. So we give this platform of the Sunday Love Feast to have multiple um, platforms of offerings of love to each other, to the Supreme Lord. So all the activities that take place, which is the bhajan, singing of the hymns, an offering through song. There's dancing, it's an offering through dance. We're eating, we offer, we, we exchanging love through eating. So all these points are actually building and escalating the whole exchange of love. So the best thing about a Sunday Love Fix is all the exchanges of love that takes place. The class that we give is around practical subjects, you know, how to come over uh, everyday difficulties in life, you know, how we overcome them by referring to the Bhagavad Gita. The Bhagavad Gita is actually a book, it's a conversation between Krishna and his dear devotee Arjuna, which was done on the battlefield of Kurukshetra. There were two warring factions and that's where Krishna spoke the Bhagavad Gita. So it's actually practical, you know, problems that we have on a day to day. The Vedas are our, you know, spiritual uh, scriptures. Really. So everything that we do in Krishna consciousness is based on the Vedas. So they're very important. They are the foundation of our Krishna conscious movement, they are the essence. Yes, to We've got a marking on our forehead. This is to mark that, to fully stamp that, that this is a body, this is a temple of God, and we shall only use it in the service of the Lord. What is different in the Hare Krishna Sunday Love Feast program is that we encourage a lot of um, sadhu sangha, which is association with one another. Fellowship is very important. In the Krishna Conscious Movement, when we all come to temple here, we're all here for a similar purpose, we have similar interests, that is serving Krishna and eventually going back to Godhead. What you eat affects who you are. So there are different foods uh, prepared in different consciousnesses. So if I am, am preparing a meal that's, and I'm very angry that day, or I'm very passionate, that consciousness actually gets transferred to the food. And if I consume that food, I actually get affected mentally by that. We also aim to have a karma-free diet because whatever action we do, 
uh, there's an equal and opposite reaction, right? We tend to avoid, um, you know, further karma by killing uh, animals. We're above vegetarianism. We offer our food to God, and by offering th that food to God, it becomes spiritual. So it becomes free from karma. Krishna consciousness is simply attaining happiness. That happiness, everybody is always seeking for happiness, but we find that the happiness is never really going to the fullest extent that we want. Always trying to achieve the highest high that we can get. So now Krishna consciousness simply gives us that happiness which goes within, because it's happiness for the soul. It goes straight inside. In my youth, I've always, always wanted to find a connection with God. Finding God is a way to find my purpose. And right now that I'm in Krishna consciousness, I found that my purpose is to serve God. You know, and as a young person, you know, being having all these religious principles, it sort of guides you throughout life and prevents you from doing all kinds of wrong things. So for me, finding God is also a way of finding happiness. I don't want to find artificial happiness in um, all kinds of other negative things. I want pure happiness and pure happiness right now is God. We all believe generally in God. You know, no matter what name we call God, you know, we, some people call him Christ, some people call him Krishna, some people call him Jehovah, some people call him Allah, but it's one God. But we have many belief systems. If we just glorify God, you know, by referring to the bona fide scriptures of, of God, it's, it's good enough. One great person, Mahatma Gandhi, said that all, all religions are like rivers flowing into a common ocean. So we may have different beliefs, but there's one common God. This is my identity. Mother Teresa once said, a family that prays together stays together. And if they stay together, they will love one another as God has loved each one of them. And works of love are always works of peace. Kiyachablisa gubona banvu labapuma gutingolo leta suga sugene basangene ngavilinye. You can join us on the social media front and share your views on anything that you've watched so far or would like to share with us. Write to us on our email address identitytvshow at gmail.com or follow us on Twitter at Identity TV Show. And you can also like our Facebook page, it's Identity TV Show. You can also follow us on Instagram at Identity TV Show. Our What's Happening Media Review segment awaits you after the break, where we review interesting apps and books. This is my identity. This is my identity. Welcome back to your only multi-faith show, Identity. In case you've just joined us, you've missed out on an inspiring chat with mentor and human rights TV producer, Simamgele Takavu. But you were just in time for our What's Happening segment. Sibuga EF, le ngaba ngumtakeshi wako. Sipinza sibuge ingwati, le palwe ngumpali, losa semusha, kulegani makubani. Let's see, we are not so different after all. almost nearing the end of the first quarter of 2015 and I'm wondering how many of you have honored your New Year's resolution to exercise more? Are those gym memberships wasting away? Are the exercise machines at your home enjoying the load shedding schedule? Weight plan. Weight plan is like having a personal trainer in your pocket. You'll quickly improve fitness, strength, tone, muscle, or use it to count the calories you burn as part of your weight loss, weight gain program. We have workout routines designed to condition, build muscle size, or improve strength for all fitness levels. Each routine has been designed by fully qualified personal trainers for your complete peace of mind, whether you're a beginner or pro athlete. Tracking gym training progress is easy with this app. You can also track hundreds of other activities such as running, cycling or swimming. 
Build your own workout routines quickly and easily by creating your own exercises or by customizing the preloaded routines. To get back on track with your fitness plan, download this app today. This week's book review teaches us that as much as there are classes in life, we are not so different. This wonderful book is by a young South African author, Kulegani Makubani, with the title, We Are Not So Different After All. Let's go through the online version. Oftentimes in life, we realize that no rat is more or less free than any other rat in the race for survival. Racer Rats and Rubbish Bins by Kulegani Makubani only because it lays bare a shocking metaphor for life, one in which we as human beings both eat and are eaten. What we live by, others have discarded. What we discard, others live by. We live off others and others live off of us. In the context of the story, circumstances conspire to hurl into a totally alien set of social and material contexts which opens your mind to a very different way of being in the world. We are not separate from each other, nor are we as different from each other as we would like to believe. Perhaps we are all prisoners and the only freedom we have is to choose our prisons. Because despite our social origins or our final social destinations, our individual destinies in the rat race of life are not so different after all. This book makes the reader ask, what kind of a rat am I? This book will definitely get you thinking. It is a light read with a thought-provoking theme. So go out, buy it and read. Begnene kube mnanzi kuba nani kule sikashana mbonge kakulu uti ukese tlala nami. Ngapam kwe kuti si ivali nge mtulo lo mnanzi asesbuge la malanga la lanze lago laba legile. On Saturday the 21st of March is Human Rights Day which was written in the South African Constitution Bill of Rights in 1993 and was then enforced in 1994 where all South Africans are born free in gender, race, equal in dignity and rights. And on that same day the International Day for the Elimination of racial discrimination is also observed with a series of events and activities worldwide. The day encourages people to remember their obligation and determination to combat racial discrimination. Well, that's it from me, Mpumimbete, and the identity team. As we prepare to roll the credits on this episode, do enjoy the sounds of Sugar Smacks with his title, Watin Datina. Goodbye and God bless. <laughs>